that shit must have been it all. She's sticking her belly out. Aren't ya? You just look so thrilled to be here, don't you? <laughs> yeah, she's, she looks like this is just the boredom of killer. You want to go home to your boyfriend? Okay. All right, whenever you're ready, I'm okay. ready. I'm going to... I'm going to check my shirt. My arena. Yeah, he does kind of, doesn't he? Almost like he's questioning. Okay. Good. I think that would work. Alright. So you want to you wanna go behind or you want to lead? I'll lead. Okay. She has pretty good following. She just the times that I've followed on her has been kind of stormy, and she does it a little scuttling. But it just really feels like she needs to get out more. Okay. Just with that issue, I don't know what this. And she does it with all the horses, not just this particular one or a group or. Not that I've noticed. Okay. And if you and you've tried to take her along. I have not. Okay, that might be something to look at too and see if she's willing to go alone. Um, my suspicion is she'll do it all the time. If she, especially if she's going to do it with other horses, and she'll want to do it by herself. Uh, doesn't have that, you know, that gregariousness with the herd to, to pull her through. And I'll get this. Hello, I got to do the same thing. And we'll go through this guy. And, uh, or go through the horse. We're not going to go through the horses, are we? No. Okay. I've been really concentrating on my feet since I had a lesson with you. It's just it's just a, a way it is. I mean, you you know some uh, maybe friends of yours that you know a little she's a little bit on the spoiled side. Yeah. Because you've gotten used to having her way. Same thing. It's identical. 
if I throw a little fit, maybe mommy and daddy will buy me a gift, right? That's my sister. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, I got a sister like that too. <laughs> Uh, shoot. And she probably says the same about me, right? <laughs> so, yeah, it's, and it's, you have to think like the horse all the time. Put yourself in that horse's perspective of why they do what they do, why they want to do what they do, and what they will try to accomplish or try to, uh, go through to be able to achieve that goal. And if you think like that, on everything you do, then you got most of the battle whipped because then you know, okay, this is what they want. How do I fix it? And that's where the, the human side of that comes in. And say, you know what? I got a brain. I got a, I got thumbs that really separates me from these guys, so uh, I can I can make them do what I want. And it's a mental game. The whole thing is a mental because, as I said, you know, we can't physically. There is no way in the world we can do anything with these horses that we want. It's mental. It's all mental. And uh, if you can, if you can outlast them mentally, and be very, very strict about what you want them to do, you win. And you win better and better and better all the time and quicker. Hello. Hey, Brent.